In order to develop an extension for the Chrome web browser, we first uh, should go to Tools and then select Extensions and here we can switch to the developer mode which provides us with uh, these buttons. The next step would be creating a folder, a folder where all files of the extension we are going to develop will be saved. All files should be saved within a folder. Let's uh, name it Hello World. The next step would be creating the manifest.json JSON file. I use the Notepad++ and this file its name should be um, manifest.json this file actually defines the extension the name of our extension, version number, uh, description, what the extension does, and then in this code sample we also have the browser action property and its value is another object in uh, JavaScript, an object that includes two properties, default icon, we shall create an image, its name is the one specified here in this file, hello icon.png, and we also have the property pop up, and its value is a name of an HTML file we should also create. The idea is getting an icon on the Chrome web browser toolbar, icon that um, this the image, its image is uh, this file, and when the user click that um, icon you shall get to see in a pop-up window the content of uh, this HTML file. So let's first create the HTML file. Simple HTML. You can of course include JavaScript, CSS, even a uh, code snippet for showing a flash movie. It can be even a flash movie from YouTube. Let's save the file. Its name should be hello.html because this is the name we specify here. Now let's create an icon. Now the size should be 19 on 19. Let's draw something. And let's save it. The name should be a low icon. It can be any name you want, but it should be the name you specify in your manifest file. Well, the next step can be testing what we did, and testing can be done by pressing the load unpacked extension. Currently the extension we develop is unpacked. So let's select uh, the folder with all files. The folder is um, hello world. Press OK and see the outcome. 
Uh, as you can see, here is the icon I created, and when the user press that icon, a pop-up window is a, is displayed, and the content of a load.html within that pop-up window.